Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the designs I created in my Manny Swap with Claris from The Polish Queen on Instagram and YouTube. So let's get right into the video. So I went on my phone and chose some designs. So the first one is this hollow and white manicure. Next, I chose this gold and black zigzag design along with this purple glitter gradient, a mermaid nail design, and lastly, a purple and white gradient design. So I actually found Claris on YouTube and I thought it would be a really cool idea to do a mani swap with her. So we DM'd and decided we were both going to do a video for YouTube. So for all of my designs, I started off with the Oont Peel Off base coat and this will make it super easy to remove all of these manicures and I applied a thin coat to all of my nails and let it dry for about 10 minutes. Once my base coat is dry, I'm starting off with my first design and it is this white and silver holographic manicure. So I'm starting off with a white nail polish and I'm also going to be using a Starly Silver Holographic along with this nail tape which is basically just thicker striping tape. So I started off by applying one coat of white nail polish to my nail and this white polish is super opaque so it only needs one coat and I made sure to try and avoid my skin. So since we are going to be using nail vinyls, I'm applying a quick dry top coat to make sure that my nail design doesn't peel up. So I'm just applying a nice even coat and letting that fully dry before applying the tape. So now I'm peeling off some of the tape from the roll and I'm just cutting off a little piece. And then I'm taking that and placing it vertically on the nail in a straight line and making sure it is roughly halfway on the nail. And then I'm going in with my silver holographic polish over the white side and I'm going to make sure that I have a nice even opaque layer. And then once I'm happy, I'm peeling off the tape to reveal a nice clean line. And then I'm sealing in my design with another coat of quick dry top coat. So the next design I decided I would recreate is this gold and black zigzag manicure. So I'm starting off with this gold nail polish as well as a black nail polish. And I'm also going to be using these zigzag nail vinyls. So I started off by applying one coat of this gold metallic polish onto my nail and I'm pretty sure she used a gold holographic but I don't actually have one so I thought this gold would do. And now I'm going in with a quick dry top coat because we are going to be using nail vinyls. So I'm peeling up some of the vinyls and I'm placing the first one a little bit more than halfway diagonal on the nail and I'm going to fill in the bottom half with the black polish and then immediately remove the nail vinyl so that the polish doesn't dry. And now I'm placing the second vinyl a little bit above that and then I'm going to paint in around the cuticle area. So then I'm filling that area in with black polish and again removing the vinyl immediately. And then I'm sealing in my design with a nice thick layer of quick dry top coat. So the third design I'm recreating is this purple glitter gradient and I thought this was super cute and I definitely wanted to see if I could recreate it. So I'm using this purple shimmery polish along with a periwinkle glitter and a purple holographic glitter. And I'm going to be using a makeup sponge to dab the polish onto my nail. So first I'm starting off with the purple shimmer and I'm just dabbing that on the tip of my nail and then slowly moving up towards the cuticle area. And this is going to be a base for the glitter just so it has a little bit of shimmer and it's not just going straight on the nail with the glitter. So I did two coats to build that shimmer up. 
And now I'm taking that periwinkle glitter and applying on the same makeup sponge and dabbing that over the shimmer, concentrating most of the glitter at the tip and then slowly moving up towards the cuticle when almost all of the polish is on the tip of the nail. So I did two layers just to fully build up that glitter. And now I'm taking my purple holographic glitter and I'm going to do one layer just to give the nail some holographic shine and just add more glitter because who doesn't love glitter? So after using my makeup sponge, I'm cutting off the part I used and I can reuse the sponge. And I'm taking a Q-tip dipped in some acetone just to clean around the edges of my nail to remove any polish that got on the skin. And now I'm sealing in my glitter gradient design with a nice thick coat of top coat. And I actually did two coats because after the first coat dried, I noticed that it still was a little bit textured and I wanted to smooth that out. So here you can see I'm going in with a second layer of top coat. So the next design I'm recreating is this mermaid gradient design. So I'm starting off by applying one layer of white nail polish onto my nail and this is going to be the base for the gradient because colors always show up best over white. And now I'm painting some liquid latex around my skin around my nail just to protect it from the nail polish and staining. So the colors I'm using for my gradient are this light green from Sally Hansen as well as this blue from Sally Hansen and then a light pink from Francesca's and I'm also using a makeup sponge to create this gradient. So I'm just applying a thick strip of each color onto my sponge slightly overlapping them so that I get a nice blend and then dabbing that over my nail, moving side to side and a little bit up and down just to get a nice blend. And then I'm applying a second coat to get full opacity with all of my colors. And then once again, I'm cutting the sponge just so I can reuse it. And now I'm going to be doing the stamping. So I'm using this Shani 222 plate along with this blue SE polish my Pure Joy Clear Stamper, and a nail scraper. So I'm applying the blue polish on the Mermaid Scale design, scraping it over the image, and then picking it up with my stamper, aligning it on my nail, and then pressing down where I want it. And now I'm peeling off my liquid latex to reveal a nice clean cuticle area. And I'm just going in with a small brush and some acetone just to tidy up the edges. And I'm going to seal in my design with a nice thick layer of quick dry top coat. So the last design I decided to recreate was this purple and white gradient with some glitter around the cuticle area. So I'm starting off by applying one layer of white nail polish and just like before this is going to be the base for our gradient. And then I'm taking some liquid latex and applying that around the cuticle area to protect my skin. And then once my liquid latex is dry, I'm going in with this white nail polish as well as this purple nail polish. And those are the colors I'm using for my gradient. And here is the glitter polish I'm using for the little pieces of glitter around the cuticle. So now on my makeup sponge, I'm painting the purple at the top and then the white at the bottom, slightly overlapping again so that I get a nice fade between the two colors. And then once I have the polish on the sponge, I'm going ahead and dabbing the sponge on my nail. And these two colors, I think, look really pretty together, especially when they blend together because then you get a nice purple. So as you can see, the first coat wasn't completely opaque, so now I'm going in for a second coat, so I'm reapplying the polish on the sponge and then dabbing over the nail. And I'm making sure to move side to side and slightly up and down to fade the colors nicely and evenly. 
And once I'm happy with my gradient, I'm peeling off my liquid latex. And now I'm taking my glitter polish and a nail scraper and I'm just painting some of it out so I can easily pick up the glitters and I'm just placing them one by one around the cuticle area and I think she may have used little rhinestones but I didn't want to have a textured finish so I found this polish that had circular holographic glitters and I thought that it gave the same effect without having a texture. And then once I'm done placing all of my glitters, I'm going in with a nice thick coat of glossy top coat. So here are all of the designs I recreated of Clarice's. I really like how they turned out and they are super creative and different and I definitely wouldn't have recreated some of these on my own. So I'm really glad that I got to do this mini swap with her and yeah, I absolutely love how these nails turned out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. I will also link Clarice's channel down below, so be sure to go ahead and give her a follow, and I will see you in the next one.